Okay, guys, we're going to go into a bit of a live stream review for the Yamamoto Pro in... It wasn't Milan. Apparently, it was somewhere else. They said Milan, but it was not. So, it was Padova? Padova, is it? Paova? Pavlova? Pav I don't know. I don't know. It was somewhere in Italy, anyway. <laughs> so, somewhere near the top. So, um, it's actually take two, because I actually had it on with the volume before, and the music uh, will get done for copyright, and I don't want to get told off by Jen. So, I'm going to go through... Basically, just the pre-judging. We kind of reviewed the pose and routines, myself, Ron Harris, and Jen uh, for the MD YouTube Live last night. We did like a live wrap-up, and uh, which was a lot of fun, by the way. And I, I love doing those. But it's um, go and check it out because it's, it's very clever how it's done, actually. And um, and it um, yeah it worked really well. So we're going to go straight into the pre-judging for the Yamamoto Pro. Lauren's obviously very hot. She's taking the top off. Please, go. I'm going to have to get a camera on you. So anyway, let's go straight into it. This is literally as soon as the open guys walked out. So we have Jamie the Giant here on the left. Um, I'm sure he said he was 305 pounds here. So this is by far the biggest he's ever been. We have uh, Pasquale D'Angelo. Uh, normally you'll see this guy competing as a 212. I was very uh, kind of excited to see how he'd look as an open. And I think he looked really, really good actually. So I'd be curious to know his body weight, but um, he's still not quite, as you can see, this guy here. He's not quite granite from the back, but I think this is the best I've seen him all year. So maybe, maybe this is where he needs to be uh, as an open guy. Uh, we have uh, Mohamed El Amam uh, in this episode, for, uh, originally from Egypt, now lives in Russia, who had to fly to, no, had to drive to Finland. And then I'm assuming he had to fly down to, to Italy to compete. Maybe, did he drive or fly? I think he drove to From Finland, Finland to... Uh, okay. I tell you what, though, first look here at um, Mohammed. I have seen him slightly sharper, um, but this is by far the biggest I've ever seen him. I, I think it's his width and his, his back that was just absolutely blew me away. Um, so, yeah, really, really good package. I just think he needs a little few more weeks. A little few more weeks? A few more weeks to get a little bit tighter. And uh, we have Roman Fritz here, who ended up in fifth place. Roman, uh, very good. I think he needs more back and arms. Uh, and I discussed with Ron about doing classic, but I think I think he just needs to bring his back and his arms up, and I think he'll be a fine pro. Because at the end of the day, he did make top five here, and this was a pretty you know it was a pretty tough lineup here. Um, this guy on the right, I don't have this gentleman's name, but here we have Jamie. Jamie, um, I think Jamie's going to peak for the Arnold UK in, well two weeks after this show because he wasn't quite as crisp in the glutes and the hams from the back. Um, but I quite like this look. I quite like this fuller look in him. Um, what do you think? Do you like it? I think he looks freaking amazing. He does look amazing. Yeah, he does. He does. I spoke to him this morning. He thinks he should have been third over Andre Mutsi, um, which I'd have had no arguments with if he had been third. Um, this guy, I don't have this guy's name. Oh, I accidentally paused it. It's a very sensitive trackpad, this one. <laughs> but Pasquale there, really holding his own there. I, be, I, don't, I haven't seen the score sheets yet, so I would be curious to see where he placed. So, okay, that's the first lot they brought out. I think they brought him out numerically there. So one through five. And now they're, I think this guy, the first guy, I think his name's Anton. I might be, I'm sure I saw his, um, I, t I did click on his Instagram. Um, that was quick. <laughs> we, I think we're bringing out the next group of guys now. We'll just leave it. So is that um, Jonathan Morio's girlfriend? Oh, so I saw actually, literally, I think the day before I saw a picture of them together. So um, here, we here we have Andrea Muzzi. See, I thought Andrea Muzzi from the front looked very, very good. And for me, he was the favorite coming into this. I think he's done, I forget how many shows, it's six or seven or even eight shows this year. Um, but he, he's now uh, number one in the points. Uh, as you can see the side there, I think the flatness is starting to show a little bit there. Uh, from the back, it wasn't, it, for me, that's what I would have pulled. I, I would have potentially just those back shots, I would have pulled him down even lower actually on that. Um, the tan, the oil, the skin, he was very flat. And sometimes when guys keep dieting, it comes off their kind of worst body parts and his back is not his best body part. But as you can see from the front, I mean, his quads are crisp, separated, they're detailed, they're dry. Um, I think he looks great from the front. Um, I, there, there's a lot of comments on the on the comment sections on, on the YouTube and on Instagram about his stomach saying he wasn't keeping it in. Uh, I think, yeah, he's, it, it doesn't look bad here. Um, this guy, I don't have his name, but this was a guy who did Romania last year. Yeah. And here we have the eventual winner, Vlad Suhorochko, uh, who obviously in this episode, who um, I'm so, so happy for Vlad. This is by far the best package I've ever seen Vlad bring. And absolutely, uh, I mean, what, I, what you were in Portugal, Lauren. You know, he's a lot better here, isn't he? I think he was a little bit stressed out in Portugal too with the flag. 
stressed. Yeah, the st- yeah stressed out the flag, and obviously had he lost his luggage, yeah. and he said he was he got there late, and it's, it's I mean sometimes I can really fly. Oh, he's hit. Uh, getting the old elbows there with the uh, the Turkish guy. Um, it was weird though when these guys turned to the back. I, it was something to do with the lighting, but everyone looked washed out. Everyone. And I don't know why they look good from the front. And this camera angle did not work for anyone. I mean, everyone just looks squishy here. They do look terrible. I, whatever camera angle they should have been they're using, they shouldn't use that one. I think if I had a bit, this guy's back. Look at it. This guy's really good. I'm, I'm, oh, I can't. I should have um, had the competitor list in front of me. Really sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I remember this guy from Romania when we did the live stream uh, last year, and I believe we're going back this year. Woo! Yay! Um, see, there's a guy who probably will do a series of shows. I'll probably, we'll probably see him in, maybe in France, maybe Prague, maybe Romania. So, but he's in, this guy's in very, very good condition and he's big. So I imagine, uh, cause we only seen the top five. I haven't seen the competitor score sheets yet. So, but Vlad, I couldn't believe just how full, how hard. I mean, Vlad for me bought, brought the best package and look, the shoulders, uh, they look, they look fine there. See the details back in the shoulders. See, when the guys shoot their shoulders too close to the show, it doesn't absorb, it doesn't have time to absorb, and it creates like a shine, and it, and it, it looks swollen, and it um, you lose, like in the readable bicep, you can't see the separation between the three heads, and that for me is a big no-no. So uh, it's nice to see Vlad took, took notice of this, and he actually addressed it, um, because I, like I said, to, I said to guys, I say to these guys, don't give the judges any excuse to mark you down, because... Um, you know, make it, don't make it easy for them. So anyway, obviously, quick break, and then I'm going to be bringing the guys back on for the compulsories. Now, I watched the live stream yesterday, and it was a very, very... There was only like three, I think it was three call-outs, and that was it. There was no final call-out with what they saw as the top two. So it was very, very quick. So I think hopefully we're going straight back into... Let's just scrub across. I've got to be very careful with this track mouse. Come on. There we are. Oh. So here we go. Okay. Oh. Come on, guys. Work with me. Work with me. Here we go. This will be it now. Da, da, da. Come on. Come on. People are turning off now. Here we go. Right, okay. They're bringing the guys back out now, and this is where the judges make their call-outs and decide who's in the first call-out. So, I mean, for me, the top five was... I I, I pretty was... I was pretty much in agreement for the top five. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but that see, there's only one camera angle. It was straight on, and they had no, they had no, like, side angle. So when the guys were at the side, as you can see, all you can see is Yamamoto in the screen, So which was a bit weird. I mean, I would have thought they'd have had separate camera angles from different side, but maybe there was some uh, issues with the, with the venue or whatever, the size of the venue. I don't know. But, uh, okay, first call out. Now Jamie gets called out. So, obviously, I mean, when you get called out, I know he's, uh, it's, it's brought out numerically, but he must have been so happy to be called out in that first call out. Um, yeah, I did like Jamie's look actually in this one. Um, Roman Fritz in the first call out there. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Like I said, this this was the right call for the first call out for me. But um, I can't believe how much bigger Mohamed El Amam is here. I mean, look at him. When he really sharpens up now, um, because I see he does get, I mean, when he did the Arnold Classic last year, he was seventh place and he got second to Justin Rodriguez at the Indy Pro I mean, he really does bring good condition. I mean, when he shreds this up, really dries out, he's going to be... I, I I, would have him... I, I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked if he did win a pro show and go into the Olympia because, for me, Mohamed Alamam is a top 10 Olympia guy. Now, here's the front lap spread. This is Jamie's shot. Um, see, his quads are nice and dry there. Uh, I have, like I said, I have seen him a few percent drier. And I think with the, the, the conditioning, it really was highlighted in his back shots. Because, um, but everything in the upper body, he looks so full. I think he, he I mean, I on his uh, his video on his YouTube channel, he, he took in like some like thousands, thousands of grams of carbs. Because thing is, when you're this big, to fill someone out this big, it takes a lot of food and a lot of carbs. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, I think two weeks for the Arnold Arnold's uh, UK, and I do believe he will be at his um, all time best. Oh, accidentally paused it there. So, yeah, so the only one really from the back that was in their best condition uh, was Vlad. And Vlad is actually off camera. Okay, okay they're going to go wider shot now. See, this is the one that makes them all look soft. But at least we can see Vlad in this one. So, yeah, Vlad there really posing hard. They can see all the sweat coming off his uh, off his upper body there. 
But uh, yeah, he really wanted this one. He really wanted this one. So I'm really happy for Vlad. Obviously, he did the interview with us earlier on uh, in this episode. And um, really happy that he got his first pro when he's only been around a couple of years. Um, but it's been just a continual rise and a continual progression. And uh, I think the thing is, he's big, he's conditioned. And, um, you know, so that's, um, I just, I love his shape. I love his shape. How do you think he'll do at the Olympia? Do you think he'll do a top 10? I, I, top 10? I could I could see him top 10 because in 15 weeks, you know, if he's, he, I mean, when was Portugal? How many weeks ago was Portugal? Eight. Eight, eight, nine. eight, nine weeks ago. Right. Okay. Now think about what he's done in eight, nine weeks from Portugal to here. Imagine what he can do in 15 weeks. I actually got a voice note off him this morning. And he said he's going to give 200% and he's going to bring an all-new package to Olympia. I know everyone says that, but the thing is with Vlad, you know, he's, he, he has shown significant improvements from Portugal to this show in only eight weeks. So let's see what he can do in the next 15. So, yeah, I mean, for me, for me, he was the clear winner. Um, I mean, sorry? Just make sure you got hand luggage. Just make sure you got hand luggage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he had uh, well, basically lost his luggage. And it's, what did he say, like two or three months later? I think he got it. Yes. <laughs> wow. But um, he's so wide, Vlad, isn't he? So wide. Thick abs. And I love the condition in the quads. Um, he has very good back shots. I have seen him slightly drier from the back. Um, and this, I mean, the tan looks very messy, though. I mean, you can see on Andrea Mutsi's, I mean, his tan and oil is complete mess. But, I mean, Vlad's, Vlad's isn't perfect either. I mean, look at it. It's very, very patchy. I'm surprised they let the guys out on stage actually looking like that. I'm surprised there wasn't somebody checking them backstage to make sure. Maybe the coaches or whatever weren't allowed backstage. Maybe he wasn't with his coach. Jamie's got the best tan. Um, Jamie does have the best tan, actually. Yeah, you're right there, Lauren. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, Mohamed. Mohamed? Um, I call him Mohamed sometimes. Alaman. Um, it's the translation from English to Russia. See, Mohamed really has to watch the stomach because that is his... That's. I remember it was one of the shows he did last year... I think it was uh, one of the Tim Gardner shows last year and his stomach was just, it was horrendous in that show. I don't know what happened, uh, why it was so bad from that, in that show as opposed to the other shows. Uh, maybe he had some stomach issues, I don't know, like uh, Neil Curry did, you know, with um, some sort of reaction where the stomach does bloat out. Uh, maybe they just carve up too close to the show, I don't know. But um, that is something he's going to have to watch um, because he doesn't have the smallest midsection. But um, Lamutsi's tan here, look at it. I mean, that that's really bad because they have professional tanners backstage. So this is something that should have been addressed, I think. Um, so, so yeah. So I think I think we'll watch a little bit of the second call out and then we'll leave it there and we'll go straight into our hot news. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, basically have a, just do a little bit of a live stream review and just take a look at the, uh, the lineup, really, and give my kind of uh, two cents on it, really. Two cents? Two pence? Which two cents? <laughs> yeah um oh this is harry harris the guy from the uk lovely structure but he does need more size um i can see potential i can definitely see potential his back is fantastic but the upper body will like the chest the arms i mean he he'll need to put a throw a lot more size on there to kind of make it up into the first call out but um pasquale d'angelo um i'm just wondering who would have been sixth place this guy or pasquale or even this guy um yeah, yeah. So I think it was a pretty cut and dry show, this one. Um, I was disappointed to not see the final call out because it's been kind of like a tradition in uh, Pro League shows where the final call out is who the head judge sees as the top two. So it would have been quite exciting, I think, to have a final call out between Mohamed Elamam, who came second, and the winner, Vlad. I think that would have been a nice touch because I do think the, the the judging was a little bit rushed, maybe. But um, I, at the end of the day, though, if the judges have made the decision, they've made their decision. So let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at these guys. Let's see two poses, and then we'll go straight into hot news. But um, yeah, this guy's really thick, isn't he? Really big. He looks tall as well. 